Good morning. It's June seventeenth, six AM. We are going to our pre op exam today. Our appointments at nine thirty. But um, to avoid rush hour on the train, we are going to take the taxi. So it should take about an hour and a half, but I want to get there a little bit early. She's a sleepy baby. Uh, the doctor wanted her to come fasted, so she won't be able to eat anything this morning. So I'm going to pack her, pack her food so she can eat afterwards. Yes, I know, Luja, you're so sleepy. There's a lot of vending machines and you can use your Suica or Cosmo card to buy ice cream and a lot of drinks. There's hot drinks and cold drinks. about an hour train ride none of the uh, the lines required to pay a uh, pet fee you just slept through most of the train rides <laughs> we got some KFC the biscuits look like this in Japan it's so good it's not very flaky it's more like a scone like between a, a, a biscuit and a scone and then they give you maple honey instead of honey and then this cute little coleslaw, it's so small. Everything is mini sized. So um, Dr. Takeuchi, Sayaka Takeuchi, um, she reviewed all of Yuzu's results today and all the blood panel looked great. Um, and they, she took a, an x-ray of Yuzu's chest and <clears throat> her heart was so big that we could hardly see any space for her lungs. And, um, she didn't have tracheal collapse, but her, um, bronchial a uh, pathway opening was a little bit yeah narrowed so that was causing her coughing um and then we found out that she has very mild 
pulmonary help hypertension now, which I had no clue about. Jasmine Hospital is so thorough. And the results came out in like an hour, which is awesome. What is it? Oh, you want KFC? You can you can have a little bit, okay, later? Okay. And then I uh, reviewed all the risks. Um, and uh, Cavaliers are very prone to getting blood clots. So that was explained to me as well. Uh, but the good thing is that we were able to raise her albumin level a little more, which helps prevent unwanted clotting. So all the numbers are great. And, um, oh, our surgery date was moved a day earlier. So it's now going to be the 21st. June 21st, not the 22nd, so in four more days on Monday. So I'll have one day less with her before surgery. I was surprised that she's not going to be on on any sedatives or anti-inflammatories after surgery because they want the dogs to move a little bit um, because being sedentary is going to increase the, uh, the risk of blood clots in her heart. I also forgot to add that, so Jasmine requires you to get like a, a, a pre-op exam in the US as well. And one of them is getting the blood type done. But the issue is that the US often gets it wrong, which is a huge issue and I have no idea why it's they um, get it wrong so often. So when I got it done in the US, she got a negative type, but she's actually a positive type. So that's good news because they didn't have to draw blood from her for uh, emergency. They can just use uh, positive blood and there's a lot of positive donors. So that was a relief. And then while you're waiting, they give you uh, a mitral valve repair info sheet with everything on here with diagrams and Yuzu is currently an advanced B2 she's very close to C and yep she does have tricuspid valve regurgitation which may or not may or may not improve after surgery. They have to see that afterwards. Um, so very mild pulmonary hypertension. But um, she's still okay. She doesn't have to take any medication. So hopefully, with surgery, it will balance out by itself. And yep, yeah, she didn't have tracheal collapse, but she had bronch bronchomalacia. Her heart was so big that it was pressing against her bronchi. And I could actually see it on the x-ray. Um, she doesn't have any kidney di it disease or issues. She's not on any diuretics. Yep. And then... And that's the bypass machine that they hooked the dogs onto. And um, Dr. Takeuchi told me that this surgery is about five hours, but since Yuzu is a little bit bigger than most dogs that they operate, so she said that most dogs are like chihuahua sized. <laughs> but Yuzu is maybe three or four times the size of a chihuahua. So um, she said that since the, the incision and the size of her heart is a lot bigger than Chihuahua's. It might take a little bit longer, um, maybe five to six hours. So while the heart is stopped, it'll go through this um, bypass machine. So there's gonna be one incision in the neck and I think also in the inner thigh. And they're gonna put tubes through it and then it's gonna circulate the blood while it mixes it with oxygen. And
and from the echocardiogram we could see that she had at least one torn cord so that's how they would replace the cords the ones that have been stretched out and also been torn so an average of six cords total but depending on how damaged the heart is they may need to do more than six she said Um, if anyone wants a copy of this, just message me and I can take a picture and then send it to you. And that's all the um, post-op care. All the wrists. And that is um, seen in all dogs, anemia and low platelet count. So there's nothing to really worry about unless it just keeps decreasing. Um, and yeah, blood clots is a risk. Day three and four is the highest risk. And then it, the risk goes down. That's the three month mark. And she's gonna be on blood thinner for three months. And I don't know if this is a Cavalier protocol or if it's all the same for um, every breed. But Cavaliers do have a special protocol to follow because they are more prone to blood clots. Yep, all the risks. But um, I was watching um, Dr. Uechi and Dr. Takeuchi's interview on YouTube. I have that link below in my description box. Um, so Yuzu is a stage B2. Um, the success rate does increase to 97% instead of 92% of stage uh, C and D dogs. Um, stage B2 dogs have a faster recovery rate and since they still have a strong um, heart structure, when they do sutures and attach cords, they have healthy tissues that will heal around um, the cords and the attachment, all the attachments. So it's more secure.